Look, we both know that you've got a Chinese EOTech living on your rifle and you should probably change that. So sit your fine ass down and follow along as we take a detailed look at the Aimpoint Pro before we tell all of your friends what a poser you are. What is up guys, my name is John with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Now, despite our sassy intro, there is actually nothing wrong with lower priced red dots if you're just stepping into the optics game. And you can check the description below for a link to some of our favorite optics under $200. However, if you're really ready to step up and grab a red dot that is absolutely built to last, Aimpoint's patrol rifle optic is probably what you're looking at. For those unfamiliar, red dots are going to be most useful for hitting targets at about 50 yards or so, as anything past that is going to be a little bit obnoxious without a magnifier. However, it is still possible to ring larger size steel at 1 to 200 yards. Thankfully, the Aimpoint Pro absolutely shines at this distance, and it's got a multitude of brightness settings to make sure that you can pick up the dot on a very bright day, although cranking the brightness up a little bit too much can cause a halo effect around the outside of the optic. Even still, for most days, you're probably going to be just fine running the brightness a few notches down from its maximum setting, and you can adjust the brightness on the fly thanks to the very tactile brightness knob. We love the fact that the Pro comes with an auto-torquing mount, meaning that all you need is your hand to mount or remove the optic, and you don't run the risk of over-tightening the mount onto your gun if you have a tendency to hulk torque screws past their breaking point. Technically, the optic is rated for about 4 MOA accuracy, and our tests with it were definitely within that range. Additionally, the Pro appears to hold zero just fine when mounted and remounted repeatedly, ensuring that if you've got to take it off for any reason, you should be able to send rounds accurately downrange once remounted without any additional fuss. The Pro's field of view is decently large, though the optics profile itself is pretty big, and you may need to experiment with placement on your rail to ensure that you aren't obscuring your peripheral view. However, it should be noted that since this is a red dot, you should be aiming with both eyes open, which will mitigate that chunkiness in your sight picture. For size comparison, the Aimpoint Pro is actually the exact same size, weight, and girth as this baby albino watermelon. Although the battery life is a little bit reduced from the Aimpoint Comp M4, the Pro has a continuous runtime of about 30,000 hours or three years, and is likely going to be just fine for the majority of you that probably shoot a couple of times a year. The optic is also night vision compatible, which means that you're not going to blow out your budget Gen 2 tubes with the dot's brightness when you're zero dark 30ing around your kitchen at night like a goober. Additionally, if you're one of the horde of internet dorks continually making shit posts about thermal drift on EOTech's Facebook page, you'll be happy to know that the Pro is rated to work from approximately negative 49 degrees all the way up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. While its relative heft at 11.6 ounces and slightly less common batteries are slight annoyances, they're far from deal breakers. And if you're looking for a bomb-proof, battle-ready optic, we take a serious look at the Aimpoint Pro. Overall, the Aimpoint Pro brings an outstanding reputation, 10-year warranty, and awesome impact, submersion, and battery life ratings to the table. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we've got lots more reviews on the way. Once again, my name is John with PPU Tactical. We will see you next time.